All right, so now we're going to start talking about augmented matrices. Uh, that is, excuse me, augmented matrices. So what is an augmented matrix? Well, we're going to start off with a linear system, AX plus uh, BY is equal to H, and CX plus DY is equal to K. So here's our system. And from this, we're going to get two matrices. Uh, we have, well, actually three. First, we have something called the coefficient matrix. And what the coefficient matrix looks like is we just take the coefficients from here, A, B, C, D, and we write them in that order. We get a two by two matrix, A, B, C, D. We also get what, uh, the book doesn't give this name, but I'm, uh, this a name, but I'm gonna call it the, uh, the constant matrix. And it's really a column matrix. And it's just the two constants on the right side of the equation H and K. And from these two, I glue them together and get the augmented matrix. Uh, the book also calls it the augmented coefficient matrix, but augmented matrix is shorter. I write A, B, C, D, and then I draw a line here and H comma K. So this is really a two by three matrix, two rows, three columns, but it's really coming from these coefficients and these constants, so this line here reminds us what is coming from what. And we'll be dealing with uh, augmented matrices which you know have more than one column on the right side too, so it's good for us to start using this notation. Now something I should have spoken about before is the notion of equivalence between two systems, so, or equivalence of systems. So two systems, it's supposed to be a Y, systems are equivalent if they have the same solutions. And it turns out that this is the same as the following. You know, this is the same as uh, getting from one system to the other via the following processes. One swapping the order of the equations. So for example, if I start with x plus y is equal to one and x minus y is equal to zero, I could change this into x minus y is equal to zero and x plus y is equal to one. I just swap the order. It shouldn't be too big of a surprise that those give the same exact uh, solutions that these have the same solutions as these because I just swapped the order. That's a cosmetic change. Two, I could multiply uh, an equation by a constant. So for example, if I start with x minus y is equal to zero and x plus y is equal to one, I could multiply, say, the second equation by three, and I get x minus y equal to zero, and three x plus three y is equal to three. These are going to be equivalent, and since I got from here to here, and then here to here by these operations, this guy and this guy are also equivalent. And the third possibility is to add a constant multiple of one equation to the other. So
So for example, if I start off with what I wrote before, x minus y is equal to zero, and three x plus three y is equal to three, let's add a three times the first equation to the second. So what I will get then is x minus y is equal to zero. The first equation stays the same. But the second equation, I get 3x plus 3x gives me 6x. Negative 3y plus 3y gives me 0. And 3 times 0, uh, 3 times zero is 0 plus 3 gives me 3. So this is also equivalent to this. And these, this is equivalent to the original thing we started off with, which was x plus y is equal to 1 and x minus y is equal to 0. Because I got here by just applying these three different things, you can check that these two actually have the same solutions for x and y. Okay, well we have similar notions for matrices. We have something called row equivalents. And we say that two matrices, A and B, are row equivalent, and we denote it by A tilde B if we can get from one to the other via the following so-called row operations. So these are row operations. What are our row operations? Well, these basically correspond to the three operations, the three transformations that we allowed with our uh, systems. The first one is we can swap two rows. And I'll denote this by writing R I left right arrow R J. This really means that the ith row is replaced with the jth row. So for example, let me show you. Let's suppose I have one, two, three, four, five, six. The row operation R1 left right R2 this row right here, let me just highlight this guy, this right here is row 1, R1, and this down here is R2. So R1 left to right R2 will give us 4, 5, and 6 on the top, and 1, 2, and 3 on the bottom. So I've just swapped their order. The second sort of row operation is uh, taking a constant multiple of a row. And I'll denote this by, let's write it as k r i right arrow r i. So I read this as the constant multiple of r i replaces r i. So for example, let's do something a little bit more simple. Let's start with one, one, arrow, uh, line, negative one, and zero, two, one. And let's do the operation two r one replaces r one. What that means is I'm gonna take the first row, which is right here, r one, and multiply it by two. And so my new first row will be 2, 2, negative 2, and my bottom row stays the same. So I've replaced the first row with 2 times R1. Okay. And the last is adding a constant multiple of a row to another row, a different row. 
and we denote this by uh, krj plus ri replaces ri. So I'm replacing the i throw with the i throw plus k times the j throw. So for example, let's do something simple. Let's suppose I have 0, 1, 1, and down here I have negative uh, 3, 1, 4. Let, this is R1, and this is R2, and let's replace R2 with 3 R1 plus R2. Now 3 R1 is 3, so 3 times 1 is 3, plus negative 3 gives me 0. 3 times 0 plus 1 is 0 plus 1 gives me 1. 3 times 1 plus 4 is 7, so that gives me 7. The top row stays the same, 1, 0, 1. So R1 is the same, and the bottom is now 3 R1 plus R2. I should have written over here that this is now R2, and that's R1. Great. So these are the row operations. And let me get rid of that too. Okay. Now here's the fact. Equivalent systems have row equivalent augmented matrices. So what this really means is if I start with the system and then I take its augmented matrix and do a bunch of row operations to it and end up with something that looks pretty simple and then take the system that corresponds to that I will have a, a, uh, a system that's equivalent to the first. So really what this is, is I have system one, I go to matrix, it's corresponding matrix one, and from here I get a similar, or excuse me, a row equivalent matrix two, and this gives me system two. These two guys will be equivalent. So what I'd really like to be able to do is take this matrix one, use row operations to get a matrix two that corresponds to a very simple system two. So what we would really like to do then is the following. Uh, we would like to use row operations to transform Uh, a matrix, one of our augment, augmented matrices, to something that looks like, hopefully something that looks like, say, 1, 0, 0, 1, and then some numbers here, let's just call them M and N. Why? Because this corresponds to the simple system, X is equal to M, Y is equal to N. So if we can use row operations to get down to this sort of augmented matrix, then we immediately find the solution to our system.